The trial for two teens accused of murdering 17-year-old Matthew Minkler continued today, with prosecutors calling their last witnesses. Minkler was found dead inside a vacant Henderson home last summer. Reporter Orko Mana was inside the courtroom, tells us what occurred. The third suspect in this murder case testified Monday, shedding more light on the actions of the defendants, Jaden Caruso and Cody Harlan. The teen also described his role in Matthew Minkler's death last June. He's a juvenile in custody, so we will not be showing his face or using his name. He said he showed up to the vacant Henderson home where this all happened after Minkler was killed. He testified that Caruso said they needed to move Minkler's body, so the teen helped put Minkler in a closet. The teen also testified that Harlan checked Minkler's pockets, which were turned out when police later found the body. He says Caruso initially told him he didn't mean to do it. That was the conversation? That Jay killed him. That he accidentally killed him. So did he say to you it was an accident? Yes. All right. Did his did he continue to say it was an accident or did he change as far as the way he described it? He changed. How did it change? That it wasn't so much of an accident. Henderson police detectives also testified Monday the department's computer crimes unit looked through the suspect's cell phones. That's where they found graphic Snapchat videos of Minkler's body. Police also say Minkler's phone was in bad shape. The front had extensive damage. Uh, there was black like spray paint all over the screen. It was also cracked um, and, and broken. And uh, one of the edges was uh, collapsed in a little, like someone had hit it on, on a hard object. The state rested Monday and the trial will resume Tuesday at noon. The defense is expected to call one witness to testify and then court will wrap up with closing arguments. In the studio, Orcomana, 8 News Now.